one more time. Join me, Patrick Waters, on Woodshop Cowboy this week as we build a coffin, I mean storage crate, for a local Boy Scout troop. This is going to hold their Pinewood Derby track in it. Uh, you can find these plans on FastTrack.com, though, of course, I've made a couple modifications. If you enjoy this project and other woodworking projects, maybe some tech projects, maybe some projects you could do at your, in your tech ed classroom at school, then you need to follow me on woodshopcowboy.com or on social media. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, and I'm on Instagram. Hey, we'll catch you in a moment when this is done. I'm doing it. So, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is break down the parts. Now, there's two ways to do this. I used a combination of, uh, one, getting someone else to do it, and two, doing it yourself with a circular saw. So I set up my pieces. Uh, first, I had the local home center uh, rip everything to width the uh, plywood because I can't get a full sheet of plywood into my basement. So then I took a circular saw and uh, some clamps and I made a little little track for it, a little guide, and I cut off everything. I cross cut everything to length. Once I had that going, I used a miter saw to cut out the um, cut out some of the two by twos to length and I've got everything set up and I'm but just about ready to assemble. So on your two ends uh, take them and place them right on top of the struts and fasten them to the struts using some construction screws. You can do three screws a side that is my recommendation though you can get away with two as I do here it really won't mess with the structural integrity too much. Then you're going to clamp your ends to your long sides um, and use a drill with a drill uh, with a small bit in it to be your, to make pilot holes to minimize splitting. Again, you're doing three uh, three screws aside all the way up, and, and you get all four corners assembled. Then you attach the long side rails, the support rails, uh, clamp them on and attach them with uh, screws. Once you do that, you take your bottom, you position it on top of the, uh, the developing crate here on top of the carcass. And you kind of pin it in place with four screws, checking that it's square, and then you run screws up and down the length. until you uh, get it installed. Then you screw in the floor straps. Uh, I like to have one in the center and then two about six inches from each end. Uh, mark the locations of your hinges about a third of the way down, so 30 inches. I like to mark the center line of the hinge. And then I bring out the hinge with a spacer and kind of mark exactly where it will be placed. And I install it with construction screws. Once I have my two hinges installed, I place the top and flip the hinges over to get their placement right. That's pretty critical here. You want that top to be exactly right, so double check. And then I use my drill with the pilot hole to install the hinges in place. Now, uh, since I was using some pretty long construction screws, I use a sawzall, but you can use an angle iron, uh, angle iron, uh, angle grinder with a cutoff wheel or a Dremel tool to cut off the excess bolts. Um, you can also use machine bolts, um, which will be a lot stronger in this case, uh, on that install. I mark the 
locations of my handles and I just kind of eyeball where they go, um, place them in and get them installed. Well, there you have it. That's the build. Um, there's a couple things that I uh, I want to change if I ever do these, and I I'll change them in directions. But you probably see them in this way in the video. Um, one is that a number of these guys, because this is only half inch lumber, uh, many of the screws don't really fit. So I trade them up to bolts, and I just bolt everything in. Two, this is only made out of only half inch plywood. The half inch plywood tends to uh, warp, especially if it's on the cheaper side, and this was on the cheaper side. So if I were to make a, a real size one, or one that I wanted to keep, I wanted to last a really long time, um, I would be looking at three quarters inch plywood. I'd look for something a little bit higher grade. So these would cost roughly $100 per crate. So that'd be $200 per, per crate. Um, and I need to add in a, well, at least one more of these six inch hinges. I've got two and that'll work okay because it's only going to be brought out once or twice a year. But if this is going to see some really serious use, the crates themselves, you're going to want to have at least one more, um, one more bar, uh, hinge. Also up in the front where you have your handles, uh, the smaller handles don't really fit, you know, man sized hands or adult sized hands. So you're going to want to get as big a handle as you can afford. Go bigger. Don't, don't go shorter. Um, it really saves you a lot of time and it saves you a lot of energy. Again, you're going to have to bolt a lot of the stuff in. So invest in the hardware and you'll, you'll be happy with the results. I uh, hope you really enjoyed this project. I certainly enjoyed building it. And I'll see you another week with a different project. That was